What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I am Magicide, and once again, welcome back to our campaign here. We're playing Crusader Kings 2 as the Canary Isles. So there's been a little bit of development and a lapse into the uh, releasing of videos for this campaign. First of which, um, I mentioned before about having pain in my ears and having ear infections and whatever. Uh, I ended up going to the doctor like several weeks ago and they gave me some drops put them in my ears and um everything was fine for a couple days there and then i think it came back unfortunately right so i went back to my doctor and they gave me some other drops and i'm having to put them in my ears and uh, i'm having to do that like several times a day and it's been hella hard to actually you put some uh, headphones on and record videos because you've got stuff that's kind of like leaking out of the ears the ear canals i know it sounds gross but that's the reason why I haven't been rec or putting out videos in the past couple days and just to give you guys a heads up I'm probably not going to be putting out videos for like the next week Maybe week plus because of that I really want to like just take care of this get it done and then just move forward So just FYI heads up if I'm not releasing videos for the next like week Maybe week and a half at max. That's your reason why the other thing is is that uh, on Friday I received the news really early in the morning that Anthony Bourdain the renowned chef and world traveler had commit suicide and um the man was a hero to me and i was really uh, i was really broken up about that i'm never really one about celebrity deaths and things but i have uh, you know a few heroes that happen to become celebrities and he is one of them and i was i was really uh i was really upset to, to hear that the man has left this earth so hopefully he's in a, a better place now but nevertheless Back to uh, Crusader Kings 2 information. I've had a couple users uh, comment on my videos before. I'm not really entirely sure what one user was saying. Said something about uh, settling tribes and whatnot. Um, I think this this user mentioned something like you could settle tribes, like kind of like the way you do when you are, say, a feudal a feudal entity, and then you're attacking a tribal or excuse me a uh, nomadic entity and then you come over there and take their lands but there's no holdings in there and you have to build a fort here to actually hold the province this uh this one viewer was actually mentioning something like that but i'm not really entirely certain what they meant also uh you know something that i've um spoken about in the in the past about like you know how we've had uh you know, we've been ruling for, say, 20 years, and I still can't actually pass any new laws here because it says, you know, it has not reigned for at least 10 years. Where apparently, this, like, little 10-year timer doesn't start until you actually create the title. And that's the whole thing. It's not how long you've actually ruled for, it's how long you've created, how long since you've actually created the title. So, with that in mind, you know, a, a really good, imp important piece of information moving forward. You know, I've also been thinking about it like we're getting pretty damn close to actually, uh, you know, feudalizing. And I'm not sure if I really want to feudalize just yet because, you know, the problem is when you feudalize is that you lose a lot of your, your levy. You become infinitely weaker at the start, but like over the long run, you are going to be so much stronger moving forward so the sooner you get it done probably the better but you got to be really careful because you're going to have a lot of your hungry hungry hippo neighbors that just want to gobble you up so we got to be a little uh, careful of that also somebody suggested that i switch my focus to uh, seduction which i should do because we you don't have an heir my one heir died and uh, i don't i haven't been able to actually switch this over to an agnetic cognetic and unfortunately my genius wife is not pre pregnant and neither are any of my concubines so without further ado, let's actually jump into our campaign and knock these guys out like lickety split. Let's see here. Uh, we are going to grab all of our troops. We're going to leave our vassal, all of their troops and stuff. We're going to leave them alone because I'm, I'd really like to let this disappear some. Besides, we could just call them into war from my understanding. I'm not entirely certain why we don't have that option yet. Okay, let's get all of our ships. And uh, by the way, this episode might be a little short just due to the aforementioned ear infections. So, uh, let's see here. You are submitting to my faith. Okay, fantastic. So, anyways. You are paying for the ransom. That's right. We did have some people on ransom, didn't we? Uh, do, do, do. Let's continue to ransom them. Okay, let's see here. Our truce is expiring with uh, some butcher guy. Who has which title? 
Chieftain move. Ah, okay. Whatever, it's fine. What is this? Uh, commander? Okay. Easily replaceable. Uh, I think we will take this man here. Okay, and then I think we could probably stand on our ships. Oh, you know what? Duh, what am I doing? We have the seduction focus. We probably should start to seduce people. So why don't we do this? Why don't we go search realm? Uh, we want, say, somebody that is a female. Uh, we want somebody that's a genius. There we go. Oh wait, it's my wife. <laughs> Oops. Okay, what well, was well, somebody how about somebody that's quick? Nobody that's quick. Um how about attractive? There's nobody. Nobody in my realm. Okay. Fine. So let's go to age and then we're going to scroll down here to get rid of the children here otherwise you know i could actually probably do that couldn't i um adult yes there we are that's what we're looking for oh there was a genius that's still my wife okay well you know what we're gonna actually you know what i should be doing i be, should be looking for people that are lustful that's what we should be looking for uh you guys are all pregnant it's my wife you know what why don't we just do it this way lustful Oh, and she's in my prison. Okay. So if I try to seduce her, can I do that while she's in prison? Uh, do, 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 do. I don't think so. I can recruit her. Okay. And, um... No. Never mind. So am I not, am I not able to do, like, just random courtiers? Or, or what? Um, so you're deceitful. I suppose... We are already seducing her, correct? I don't think I have another option. I think so. I think that's the reason why I wasn't able to seduce the, the one prisoner of mine. I should bring all my seduction skills to bear on Gweda until I have wrapped her around my finger. Okay. Very well. I'm having an inordinately hard time pursuing uh, my amorous interest in her. When and will I ever find the time to travel so far? There is no rush. You know what? Instead of just doing search realm, why don't we search vassals? Um, let's... Can I... I think I actually have to take the decision when we get the event pop-up to do it. Oh, and by the way, you know, something that's bothered me for a long time that I kept forgetting is that uh, every time I go into Character Finder, the little ambient noise that it makes was uh, always particularly loud. And it was always competing against my commentary. So I managed to turn that down. I completely remembered, and I'm happy I did so. I arranged for a scented love letter to be left on her pillow in an attempt to woo her. And it seems to have struck true, for she has uh, left one on mine, confessing her attraction to me. Ooh. Nice. I just want a son. That's all. You sit huddled up together by the fire. The air is thick with tension. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's try to make her, uh, say, brave. Doesn't happen. Okay, so we get some technology there. Uh, hmm. All right, let's hard save here. Made sure to attend this minor event in Sigil Masa tribe so that I could seduce her. We've been dancing and conversing all night, and she is clearly responding to my advances. Uh, meet in my room, milady. Nice. Uh, let's love her and leave her. Okay. So, uh, let's see here. Let's go back to the lustful option. I just want a son. Please. Okay, so I just lost my Grand Vizier. That sucks. Um, hmm. I think it's going to have to be this man. Uh, I don't remember what, what the hell we were even fabricating on. I think we were trying to get Timbuk2. Get that other holy site. So we can get that arranged. Oh, my concubine is pregnant. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, yes, time to up the ante. So I'm wondering why I'm not getting the option to actually, uh, you know, call my allies into war. Offer to join war. So holy wars don't count? Or did we lose that function because we reformed? You know what? Give me all of my troops. No, all of my troops, motherfucker. Let's just uh, start to 
get on down in here. Right, we'll group you guys together, of course. Let's see, we'll get a, somebody here in the flank. Uh, we'll take that man. Oop. There we are. I'm attending a festive outing with Zamba. Unfortunately, half of the court is also here, and I'm having trouble getting any time alone with my amorous quarry. Uh, let's see here. You're lustful. Let's flirt with her discreetly. See if that works. We'll get her. I could put aside all my other concubines and just make her a concubine. I mean, that would kind of make sense. I made sure to attend a minor event in uh, Canary's tribe and hope to re seducing Zamba, but despite, despite my best efforts, she remains unimpressed. We'll get her. We'll get her. Wait, are you guys actually in war with somebody else? Motherfucker. Somebody else is going to end up sniping this for me. Let's make a lewd suggestion. Wow, I'm really surprised. Usually when they're lustful... So you're patient. Usually when they're lustful, the lewd suggestion is supposed to work. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, you know what? Let's fall in love with her. God damn it. Dude, these guys are beating me to the fucking punch here. Fucking shit. Yeah, it's gonna re remain inconclusive because these motherfuckers are gonna beat me to it. Son of a bitch. You know what? I'm not even gonna do anything here. I'm just gonna move my troops back and have to stand them down. Hey, their wifey's pregnant. You know what? Let's um set everybody aside because we no longer need them. I'm not sure I could do you. Yeah, I can't do it. I can plot to kill her. I'm just worried about having two sons and then having to become a kinslayer. God damn it. So, a small army of warriors, so we can go to war again. Okay. Uh, I'd like to even... So this guy wants to invite me to a party. Sure. Is this the concubine kid? Okay. That means I can set you aside now. So if this kid, if my wife produces a, a son, we're going to need to blast him. But we're going to actually try to marry him off right now, just in case. In case I end up having another daughter. There we go. We got somebody that's attractive. Uh, there we go. A genius. Perfect. Okay, we'll send you guys down. No, this is such a small stack. I'd probably just do that. So is it possible for me to actually declare war on you guys? They won't do it. So there's nobody else around here that's an unreformed pagan, correct? Wow, that really sucks. They beat me to it. And I can't do anything around here. I actually have to straight up fabricate claims down here to actually uh, take their land. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. So if I did this... Okay, his opinion of us, we're going to lose much prestige and general opinion. God damn it. Can I try to kill him? No. It's not going to work. You won't even take a uh, vassalization lead. Nope. Okay. So, I think it's about that time where I might want to think about holy warring. Why don't we do that? Um, I think I'm just going to do a conquest war. Okay, let's raise our troops. Yeah, I think since we reformed our religion, we no longer have access to calling out all of our vassals in a war, unfortunately. Very disappointing. Okay, everybody that can get on ships, please do so. Then we need to uh, walk everybody over here. The other thing is, is that I'm, I'm going to start holy warring these guys and just gobbling them up and getting them out of my way. All right, everybody on their ships. All right, take uh, what ch troops that I do have for the moment. So I don't understand why it's not putting in this man here. 
Oh, he's a flanker. But he's got the highest marshal. Okay, so hold up. Hang on a second. Who are these guys? Oh, they're my allies. They're my, uh, they're my, my peeps. My vassals. Well, okay. We'll give him a helping hand then. What sucks though is that it's gonna go under his control and not mine. So we can get the Corcher. All right, uh, let's see here. You wanna break out the board games? Sure. Nice, we get a little bit of diplomacy. Damn, I really just want to kind of like stand on my troops here. I mean, if anything, I probably could go after these guys. That's what I'll do, is I'll holy war them. Nice, we get some more tech. Ah, motherfucker. Okay, so, son of a bitch. Um, we're gonna we're gonna have to do this. I know it sucks. I know it sucks. I hate doing it. I really hate doing it. Yep, we're gonna have to. All right, let's see if there's any geniuses out there. There's that two-year-old that was once betrothed to the other son. Wait, somebody's trying to kill me? Oh, hell no. Maybe what I should be doing is actually sending out some, like, feasts and stuff. Uh, raise tribal army, search for... Could actually search for a smith right now. Why don't we do that? Um... So here, forge me a deadly weapon. There we go. Wait, one of my provinces, I think, just, uh... It's here. County of this county right here. So where where were you working at? You're in Marrakesh, okay. I'm gonna assume that this war is already gonna be won. So what I think I'm gonna do is stand on my troops. Let's see here. Stand on my troops. So we still have the event spawn stuff. And these people here have a thousand troops and they have the one ally who's got about 500. But the problem is, is everybody else around here is Catholic. So if I declared a holy war for them, wow, that's a huge chunk of land. There'd be four provinces right there. Mm, 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 that looks so good. We got enough uh, prestige here to actually raise a, a pretty big army. All right, so let's do the same thing. Actually, I could probably ship them straight up over here. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So you want to become my new steward. Um, I'd love to, but he is a vassal. Ah, son of a bitch. Everybody's fucking joining in on this war. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Wow. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Raise a tribal army, please. Will you please come to my aid? Please. <laughs> I can seduce the high priestess. <laughs> okay, where are my ships at? I think I may end up having to do this twice. Because, like, take a look at this. Like, a lot of these guys have 500 troops themselves, right? And it definitely adds up. Holy shit. All right, let uh, let us do it again. I'm, I'm unfortunately going to have to. All right, so let's take all of my troops and start to siege them out. My marshal has told me about a remarkable weaponsmith residing in Tangiers. Uh, he suggested that I invite the man to my court. Sure. Once my marshal has assured that the weaponsmith's craftsmanship 
craftsmanship left nothing to be desired. I received him in the throne room. He introduced himself as Master Umar and gestured toward his numerous assistants, all who carried examples of his work. Does my Sultan have anything special in mind? Um, how about a, how about just a sword, man? I'll take one of those. Okay, craft me the best quality sword. It's expensive as hell, but we'll take it. Oh, son of a bitch! I'm gonna have to do this in in stages. Well, everybody is joining this guy. As I was walking towards Master Umar's smithy, I could not hear the sound of progress, but instead the sound of voices talking. I found Umar and my vassal, Chief Mamadi, discussing different metals and their compositions. All this talk was making my head spin and definitely halting the progress on the work I have ordered. So you lose some prestige, but Chief Mamadi will gain some stewardship and it'll make him happy. Sure. Oh, shit. Here they come. Luckily, I have some uh, reinforcements here inbound. There we are. Oh, no, we're getting crushed. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle this. There's going to be too many of them. Finally, the sword has been completed. Master Umar has brought me a sturdy box which contains the item. My hands are shaking slightly as I open its heavy lid. This is excellent, Master Umar. So we got a brand new sword. Holy shit. Okay. Do I even have enough troops here to do this? Is this even a, a thing? It's here. I can get a new commander. Okay. Um, so why is he no longer my commander? Uh, so we can do some venerable elders here. So why don't we do that? Wow, I totally don't have enough troops here. There's just no way in hell I'm going to be able to holy war these guys. Oh, I might be able to snipe them. If I can take out their smaller stacks, it'll be all right. They still have seven thousand troops floating around here. I'm thinking if I just assault, I could probably get a whole bunch of war score. Why don't we do that? Or at least the top level holding. Okay, for as far as my ships go, I think we're going to have to stand them down. I really don't want to go down to zero prestige from raising up another host. Oh, 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 here's a big ass part of their army. They would be fighting in the mountains, though. So this is the farmlands, and that's plains, okay. Yeah, they're going to come down here, and then I'm going to be able to take them out. Oh, that's beautiful. So we're going to lose kind, that sucks. Oh, they're actually doing the same thing I'm doing. Please win. Gotta win this battle, baby. Wow, they're really holding out there, what the fuck? God damn it. Wow. Um. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this now. We're not going to have enough enough uh, morale. Yep. Son of a bitch. All right, is there any other troops that I can actually muster here? I could probably get a holy, my holy order. <clears throat> That's gonna almost bankrupt me. We get 9,000 troops, wow. Okay, can I actually split you guys up? All right, let us get all of the ships that I possibly can. Maybe I should have done this originally. 
So let's uh, actually come over here before we get attacked again. Fuck, we're gonna lose so much money here. Okay, can one of you guys... Let's see here, let's group you up. We only have the one ship coming. Okay, so we're gonna have to split you in half. Oh, I'm gonna win this war. Believe you me. Actually, why don't you guys just go to Tangiers? Just meet up there. Wow, everybody's joining in on this war. This is ridiculous. Right, 4,000 ships here. Um, so, let's see here. Let's break off a new unit. Alright, I'm coming. 10,000 fucking troops for your ass. Let's give me my ships. Pick up the rest of these guys here in a moment. There we are. You know what? Let us uh, go ahead and assault. Because the, uh, the garrison there is going to be really weak. There we are. Nice. See, your Marrakesh is uh, converted. Fantastic. All right, let's stand on our ships, and then we, let's move our um, what we call it, our chief dimmer. Um, I'm thinking we should probably do the other holy site over here. Wow, my military sucks balls, man. Well, look at this shit. I'm getting fucking smashed. Oh my god, man. Wow. Like, I'm just straight up getting crushed. Yep. Wow, that was embarrassing. Okay, so we can't take on the Catholics yet. And now we have dangerous factions. Fantastic. Okay, so this man here, what if I give you, I don't know, make you champion? And, uh, say, Master of Blade? So you kind of sort of like me? Oh, that was embarrassing. And we're going to be sitting in debt for quite a while. Actually, what I need to do is I probably should, uh, say, raise my troops and go raiding. <laughs> I don't really have much of a of a choice here. All right, let's make sure we set everybody to raid, please. Let's see here, you actually, you guys can get on the ships. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll sail them over. I'm gonna raid Grenada, Granata. Your vassal has expressed her dissatisfaction with your choice of advisors. Um, negative. Okay, so Wifey's pregnant again. I for, actually forgot to get rid of her. I'm really hoping I don't have another son. Let's see here. Many seasoned warriors have traveled to Canaries to pledge their allegiance to your cause. Nice. We get some levy increase. Let's take our ships and put them over here in the Straits of Gibraltar. Wow, my military is bonkers bad. They are terrible. Uh... Let's go for improved keeps. Yeah, my military is garbage. So I need to, like, stay away from the Catholics for a while. Okay, so I have a... Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and legitimize her. And then let's get her married off. Uh, let's see here. We want age. Somebody young. They're about her own age. Uh, do 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 do. Bunch of shitty traits. There's like nothing here. Hmm. I could actually try marrying Granada. Let's see here. Let's arrange a marriage between. How about a betrothal? Between your son and my daughter. You won't even consider it. 
I was gonna say having an ally over here would be really great. Um, hmm. It's like really nobody around here that I'm all that interested in. How about you? So you do have a son here who's already betrothed. What about your second son? All right, let's uh arrange a betrothal between my daughter. Wait, what the fuck? You're, what about your other son, dude? Did he die? <sighs> um, hmm. How about Bambuk? There we go. Arrange a patrol with this kid. Unfortunately, it's going to be under... Wow. Okay. So what about... Timbuk too? Oh, there we go. How about a range of patrol between you guys? Motherfucker. Alright, so I'm just gonna have to pick somebody. So, don't really have much of a chance to actually get an ally around here somewhere. I think... Yeah, Cagliari. How about this guy right here? I'm going to lose a little bit of prestige by doing so. Don't worry, after we feudalize... After we feudalize and we start getting some some increased technology here, I'm going to come up there and we're going to destroy them. A strange chest made of an unknown metal was recovered by your men while they're looting their holding. holding. Try as they might, they haven't been able to force the chest open and the contents remains a mystery. It now has been deposited into your care. One day the chest will be opened. Mark my words. Okay. So we got a strange chest. Got some more technology. Boy, I really need that military tech. God damn it. Fuck. <sighs> um... And there's nothing I can do about my laws, right? Wow. I really want to keep my beautiful black baby, but I can't. I just can't do it. We're gavel kind. I'm sorry, dude. We're gonna have to piss everybody else off. And then, uh, let's see here. Prisoners. Where you at? Sorry, kiddo. I know it's gonna really hurt me. Alright, the other thing we need to do here is actually... Get rid of my wife. How come I can't arrange a divorce? Because we, we don't have the money. Shit. Get in prisoner. <laughs> Make everybody hate me. Well, I mean, that really sucks because if she gets pregnant again with another son, then I'm going to have to do it all over again. So I've got a courtier that actually likes me. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and make a move. Maybe I can get another uh, daughter here. Oh, I actually don't need my uh, my ships raised. Okay. It's because I have a uh, land nearby. Nice. Got some more tech. Uh, looks like not military tech. What's a uh, hard safe here? Shit, my wife was actually... Looks like she was sick with something. I accidentally called for my court physician. I actually clicked it a little too fast. So if I can't beat you in a war there, fuckface, at least I can raid the shit out of you. Oh, and by the way... What can I change this? 1813, okay. I think there was a time when I was sitting there saying something about 1815. I believe that's the next time I can actually change a law. 1815. The end of 1815. <laughs> All right, baby. Wifey died. Okay. Let's see here. Domain is too big. Uh, I suppose we can probably get rid of that. So let's go to the search realm. Let's uh, reset everything. Let's do my religion, my culture. Uh, ruler, no. We want somebody that is content. Okay. You can have... Let's see here. There you go, sir. 
hate having to create a new vassal, but it is what it is. Just about out of debt. Oh, motherfucker. No. So many 1,600 men. I will not be blackmailed. How many troops can I actually muster? Hmm. I may be able to do this with what I just have here. May be able to. How many troops am I actually facing here? Not very many. Need a new marshal. Train me some troops, sir. Okay, so what I was reading also about the whole like tribes thingy is that you can do the settle tribes and increasing the chance the culture will change to Berber. So if we actually take a look at our cultural map mode, this is all Berber, except for this, I think. Correct? No, that's Berber. Okay. What's here? We need you to proselytize somewhere here. I don't really care where. Stay down there, please. And what else? We need a new commander, because I think one of my commanders is currently revolting against me. Also, uh, my spy master hates my guts. So if I ordered him, say, champion and uh, venerable elder, and you could be master of blade, and you can be cupbearer. <laughs> This man has, like, all of the honorary titles. My court physician has suggested that I buy him some books in anatomy and herbalism so he can improve his skills. Uh, I don't have the money. Sorry. Large bands of rebels are flocking to this guy's... Okay, so I'm fighting how many troops now? 900 from you. I don't think I'm going to have enough troops here. I think I might, may end up having to... Which we call it raising a host. So luckily, once I get this sieged out, I'm gonna come down here and take care of their their main army. Wow, a whole bunch of people are leaving here. Okay, so I got a new a new uh, illegitimized daughter. Son of a bitch. Okay, Commander, let's see here. We'll take this man here. Uh, let's see here. I'll assign you a Guardian. Um, hmm. Why don't we have my uh, Spy Master here? Yes, go ahead and legitimize her, please. Uh, let's see here. Still in love with my... Let's rekindle my love, please. Hoping I have enough troops here to do this. It's here. God damn it. Where the fuck are all my commanders going? So it looks like my one uh my one daughter is about to die. Okay, where are you headed to? Let's get the rest of my uh, troops over here. So I just inherited the High Chiefdom of Ideal. Because my Marshal keeps dying. Or leaving my court. I'm running out of commanders, like, a little too quick here. I think what I could do is promote a commander. CISO CISO. Sure. Actually... You know what? You would make a better marshal. You get back to training me some troops. And there's other man here. Let's see, where the hell did he go to? There you are. Can be a new, my, my new commander. And we'll worry about actually doling out this uh, domain too big thing here. 
Actually, I might be able to do it right now. Um, so there's nobody else that's content. Okay, so somebody with high stewardship, please. Grant you the title. I forget which one it was. Uh, maybe Masat? Sure. Take Masat. Creep you guys up. Oh, they actually they actually came up. That's perfect. Okay. So this is, should be the main part of their army here. Fortunately, I think we are fighting in the. Oh, we're just fighting in desert. Got all kinds of prisoners. Wow. Yeah. Give me that cash. Because we need that money. You know, we are still a tribe. I could probably say build something. Morale armies, levy reinforcement rates. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to wait till I get to a thousand prestige. Because right now we hit, we can do one bout of raising the tribal army. Our enemy has died. Wait, he died? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's stand everybody down. Hold up, let's pause the game here. So what is this guy trying to do? He's just trying to kill somebody. Okay, I don't really care about that. Nice. I think that's probably a pretty good uh, place to hard save our game at. I really want to, like, go to war with somebody here, but our levies could definitely recover some as far as our laws go damn I just need those two years I just need two years so I made the mistake of attacking the Catholics it's unfortunate because uh, it's just their technology their military advances are stronger than mine a lot stronger I really don't want to have to get the next round of shipbuilding I want to like actually increase our all of it really and then uh, maybe start thinking about getting some retinues. About which retinues I want to get. I would like to get our... I don't know, man. This Berber Cavalry. I remember looking at the uh, the spreadsheets for some of the... The uh, the optimal retinues that you want to get. I mean, they're a little outdated now, but... Man, this is so expensive, though. You got 400 troops, but that's the, that's the thing. You get more troops than the other ones. I don't know. We'll have to investigate that in time. Anyways, I will see you guys in sometime in the near future, hopefully, to continue on with our campaign series here. It is going to take me a little bit of time because, like I said, I have the those ear infections that I need to take care of. But I look forward to seeing you guys when I do see you. So take care and have a good one. Like I said, it should be about a week, maybe a week and a half-ish. And then we'll be ready to rock and roll here, record some more episodes, and continue on conquering the world with the uh, reformed West African faith. I'll see you guys in the next one.